Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Hey, Aaron here. We are in the Mekarov. The Russian Nuremberg. Yeah, Schmidt, you're gonna die. You are in a pretty decent DD for the tier, though. Why do I want to play this? I want to play the other way, actually. Roger. There is a carrier in this game. This should be interesting. <laughs> we switched twist and track, which uh, is uniquely Russian and American. And some other nation. I think it's just Russian and American. I'm not sure. Best cruiser is Russian and American, hands down. I love this thing, though. <laughs> Let's see. Yikes, is that a double fire? Are you looking at me? That's not very nice. Two DDs on this side, one in the cap, one over there. Sets of four, I'm guessing that's Schmidt. Very interesting strategy, uh, there, Farragut. He is YOLOing you, so we'll worry about the other DD later. I don't get any fires and then I get a double fire on the DD. Interesting. Good touch. He's got the fight, he's got the fire prevention. Come here, Schmitty. No, dude, don't smoke up. This guy might be dead. Pretty good shell velocity on these shells. I would say the only redeeming quality about this ship is its guns. Bad firing angles, bad speed, bad maneuverability. Hydro, you can have twist and track on it, so it's basically an airport with twist and track. Ops, are you having competent players in your games? Um, yeah? Tough spot to be in, mate. Interest on. Where are you, Schmidt? Did you go out wide? Or did you go directly into the cab? 
You're right there. I'm gonna blind fire you, Schmidt. That was too far. Oh, you're you're way out there. Nice try. Good guess. This could actually be dangerous. Unless those are, are those HE shells? Yeah, they are. They bounced, lol. I do kind of need to give that guy some assistance. Yeah, it's the problem with these spawns. I mentioned it to Wargaming a hundred times? A thousand? Schmidt, you're keeping me detected. Go away. Dude, you're DD. Just run. for my team. Oh, good work. If we can get this guy to get this... this Fuso, then we might have a chance. Griff Spee! Which way are you going? You're running that way. Carrier is backing up. Doesn't realize we have waypoints in the game. So he could map his position out, like over here towards A, get closer deployment from the carriers, but it's okay. And that's what happens. Jesus, dude. I think the graph can punch me. I'm at, actually not sure the whole armor schemes, but we're going to get a torpedo run off on Concentrate fire on the enemy warship. And then a broadside. Should have just launched them super short. Dude, I'm here. What do you want? range. So you're behind the island. We have two caps to one. No DDs. Yeah, there's Schmidt. Thank you. Come 
Come on, dude. You have autopilot. It's X. It's the but. It's the X button. Use it. Let's shoot the Koenig and then reset the con uh, Fuso. Schmidt is already close to me. I'm the only ship left besides the carrier. Okay, we're gonna keep turning. Ouch. I needed to reset him sooner. You both are in there. Interesting. Oh my god. Oh, that's torpedo tubes. That's fine. There's a Confederate. Confederate high caliber. Not much more I can do. At tiers 3 and 4, or 4 and 5. And your team must say to. Oh, you're in A. Schmidt. Good play. That's probably going to throw off that guy's drop, which is fine. Why would it? Yeah, 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 Dead. Dead. Just dodge. Okay, you got a double fire. Probably dead. I mean, how much more do I have to do, dude? Jesus Christ. Why are you attacking the freaking BB? Go spot the DD. Oh my god. That's right, it's tier 5. I understand it. People new to the game, they have no clue. Problem is, I didn't carry Kandiski. We're not gonna win. Not even close. Like, they're, they they have autopilot. This is what I just don't... I, I This guy is probably just new. He's like, oh, World of Warships, carriers... And that's fine. We, we've all been there. But, like, there's an autopilot function. You don't need to be sitting stationary in the back of the map, beached. Put the Just put the carrier player on the island there. Put an airfield. Actually, I think there's an airfield, like, over here. Just give them airplanes. That's all these guys want. Yeah. Just allow them to launch from the Navy base here. Smith, please go torp the crap out of this dude. Okay, he's moving. But he's moving in a straight line. <sighs> they should play War Thunder. No, I... I, I, lo I, I love this game. I want people to play this game, but I also, like, wish there was some form of tutorial, at the very least, before you play, like, these classes of ships. It, a five-minute video. A five-minute video, and they get 50 doubloons. How's that? Yeah, nuke is broad, so there you go. AP it. He actually got him, so good... I mean, he got the drop. This is closer game. There you go, Schmidt. GG. Let's see. Let's see how we did in terms of XP on the losing team. <laughs> 2,000. 
XP on the losing team. A thousand ahead of the next player. That's okay. We're not uh, shaming or anything like that. GG to Smith and the Fuso. Those guys had pretty decent games. Yeah, pretty pretty gigantic carry, but it is what it is. Let's go and look at the ship. Hopefully the stream was clear. The Russian Nuremberg. The Nuremberg sprinkled with Russian bias. 27,000 stats, pretty baloney armor, no torpedo reduction. There might be a sauerkraut down there strapped to the side, uh, preventing at 7% there. Artillery is pretty decent with a good reload time. I'm specking mainly into that with twist and track, um, just to make it feel somewhat special instead of just playing the Nuremberg. Um, I also have 204 million credits, so I, I, I forget that people actually worry about credits, so that might be a reason to purchase the ship's torpedoes. They are, believe they are uh, German still, 6 kilometer range, 64 speed. The Russian torpedoes are absolutely abysmal. AA defense, we had 10 planes shot down, so it's decent at the tier. I don't know, I wasn't paying attention to the planes that the carrier was dropping. You can usually tell by the type of planes if they have the upgraded planes, which gives them more uh, HP. Maneuverability, 32 knots. Turning circle, 720. Rudder shift time, 6.1. Detectability, 11.7. Uh, it's average, like we said, average. Armor, it's pretty much a tin can, 16 millimeter bow with paper on the sides. And there's the Citadel. Turtleback, you can see slightly sloped. Turtleback is a real thing. Someone asked that recently in a stream. It just, you know, you see how it's like angled like that? That's a turtleback. It, it prevents um, damage up close, like Citadels from close range, which is kind of the Germans thought process. So they would be fighting close in the Atlantic but it allows for long-range plunging fire at the angle uh, to get nice and, and deep into the Citadel. So just the more you know. And then here's the overview. Full circle, long reach, sparkless in 1945. The German cruiser Nuremberg was celebrated. Did I say, I always say Nuremberg. It's Nuremberg. Was ceded to the Soviet Union as war reparations. Subsequently, she was renamed and partially rearmed during an upgrade that followed the ship's automatic AA guns. And equipment were changed, but she had rapid fire main guns were quite powerful. Ship of her size were retained. So, yep, that is the ship, ladies and gentlemen. I'll throw this up on YouTube whenever I get a chance. Like, subscribe. This is not a top purchase for me at all. Um, hopefully we can avoid the Christmas crate fiasco that was on PC of getting the ship on a short list. But, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Like, comment, let me know what you think down below. Here on out. Peace.